Welcome, everybody, to another episode of CBSI's Three Comic Monty. Uh, I'm here with the guys again, and we've got a fun cover uh, theme to do tonight. We're going to do underwater covers, and I love this one, and I'm stoked. Um, with me, as always, I've got Peter Renna uh, of Dollar Bin Digging, Chris Nelms of A Fisherman's Tale, and rumor has it, and Mike Morello of Cover Tunes. And joining us again from the uh, hidden basement of doom, Ben C. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing, everyone? We uh, Good. we all excited to be here. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. I even changed my guitar out to the pink one. Oh. <laughs> oh, I did notice that you got a different one. <laughs> yeah. You, you don't have like an aqua blue one or something? Yeah, that would have been. Yeah. No, there's a green one. There's a green one that I don't own. I never. There's a lime green one that I never was able to buy. But <laughs> oh well. So, I'm gonna try not to knock all my books down on me today. Well, but, oh, you will. <laughs> I have, to keep I have a couple away. more beers, and you'll you'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, me this one. Real quick, so, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Topher and uh, Comic Barricade. Um, if yeah, you're not, yeah. If you're yeah. not using it, you're missing out. Um, it's incredibly helpful for stabilizing and protecting your comics and check it out. It's comicbarricade.com. Um, cool. I'm going to do a quick self promotion because, well, I want to, yeah. if you haven't checked it out yet, um, it's been out a week. Part one's been out a week. Part two's a little less, uh, Matt and I on global comic safari have been doing, the Amazing Spider-Man 300 set, the iconic McFarlane art, and uh, oh, yeah, just awesome. showing off all the covers mm -hmm. in that set, and it is the big boy of uh, big boy of, of foreign collecting. Like that's the most sets being built. Uh, it, it just the most iconic cover of probably the last 40 years, and everybody wants it. So the people that have already had the U.S. versions are are going for these. So check it out if you have not had a chance, and uh, like and subscribe, man. It's a great series. It is yes. So who wants who wants to start today? I don't know. Uh, All right, that's why I don't I'll give start. you guys. That's why I don't I'll give you guys the choice. You freeze up. Yeah, uh, I'll start. No, I'm All not right. going last after Mike. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, Mike. You, oh, never mind. Shit, I gave it to Peter. <laughs> Peter, <laughs> you want me to go? Yeah, go. Ahead. Yeah, go. If you throw me up here. I guess I'll go. All right, starting off. I don't think anybody else will pick this oddball little cover here, but I'm going to go with the. The oh, 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 oh. That's underwater great. Taco. Just love that. I wasn't looking for this, but I came across it. And I was like, "Nope, that's going in." I got the. Funny. I, got the, I, I had the Guardian version of that. I was. I won a copy of oh, that yeah, one the, point, and rocket. I haven't seen it in years. I lost it in the mail. Yeah. So oh. it's, like, underwater. Yeah, it'll be my leadoff one. I'll, I'll go with the. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mike. To you for real this time. Okay, uh, I picked a weird one because this is one of my this is one of my guilty pleasures. I'm a I'm a Sabrina guy. This is like her fourth appearance in uh, Archie's Madhouse 28. Oh yeah, I love this cover. It's silly. I just I just think it's great. Um, and these 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 suckers are hard to get too. They're not worth all that much once you get past the 22, which is the big boy. Um, the other ones are are fairly easy to get. So this is like a fifteen twenty dollar book in decent shape, but just a fun cover. It's an early appearance for Sabrina. It's the one right after her first cover. Um, it may actually be her third appearance. I'm not sure. It's either thir third or fourth, but something like that. It's her fourth. Yeah. 24, it's her fourth is her yeah. 24 is the Frankenstein cover. It's her second. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yep. So, all right. fun one. That's all. Yeah. Ben T said he didn't want to go last, so we're going to go to him next. Oh, I'll go last now. I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to set the bar. I mean, all right. Oh. Oh, I'm so good. <laughs> what, oh, such a good cover. I don't even know anymore. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> what is what that cover is that for our audience? Now? What'd you say? Is what cover is that? What issue is that for our audience? Is it uh, nine, right? Nine? All right. I can't say. I think it's nine. Yeah, it's nine. All right. I'm not familiar with the numbering on that one. Uh, yeah, it's Beware. Yeah, um, beautiful. It's not fantastic. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, early, early fifties, ridiculous. Everybody, there's always bondage with a red dress. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, uh, anyway, that's my pick. Yeah, at least it's pretty hentai, though. It is. Chris? Yeah. It is no yeah, you go, Chris. dojo, sir. That's what I'm saying. It's for that. Well, technically. It is no, no legend of the overfiend here. So I decided, like Peter, to go for very a modern book, and this is of a series that no one actually liked. Um, Ooh. Mockingbird, <laughs> uh, number four. It's a uh, actually the artist has I've become pretty popular. Uh, at least I think she's pretty uh, pretty good. It's Joelle Jones did the oh, yeah. the Catwoman A covers. Yeah, um, I, I had to get hers and the yeah. I had to get and, both A and Bs because I, I like the A's. Yeah, this is by Chelsea Kane. I think the last issue of this is worth something number eight because she got in all that controversy over. Not being a Marvel or whatever, and she the last shirt said her, the Mockingbird was wearing a shirt that said like "I'm not your feminist mystique" or something like that. The feminist agenda oh, one. Feminist yeah. agenda one. So it has a little little bit of value to it. This one really doesn't, but uh, I love the cover. It's just sort of fun. And I was looking for something underwater, and I, it's sort of disappointing. But this is th- these are probably my two. Or she was uh, probably my favorite character from the Shield show. Like when she left, oh, I was yeah. like, oh, the sh- the show went downhill. Yeah, that uh, she was good. So. Yeah, they were gonna spin them off, and then they yeah. died on the vine. Well, that's because of stupid yeah. uh, Loeb and the Inhumans just not being remotely worth watching. Well, like a garbage. <laughs> oh, bin. Uh, so unwatchable. <laughs> I mean, like oh, that show was. Too, I can't even. How could you even imagine <laughs> Medusa's hair to. and all that? Well, I mean, Agents of Shield is a decent show. It, it is. It's not. Yeah. Not a plus, but it's decent. It went back all and right. forth. It definitely had its great seasons, and then it's not so great seasons. I'm going fairly obscure. Not surprise, surprise. So <laughs> this is one that I like a classic <laughs> illustrated. It has some amazing covers. If you dig deep, mm-hmm. this is number 56. Uh, mm-hmm. Toilers of the Sea by Victor Hugo. But just got this octopus. And I love the green tone water theme. Mm-hmm. And you'll probably see it again today. Uh, <laughs> but just the colors on this are crazy. And you can get this for... 10 bucks tops and this yeah. is was a nice condition one so i mean you can probably find it maybe not quite a dollar bin but definitely in a sub five so <laughs> for the toilets of the sea <laughs> yeah for toilers of the sea yeah, so uh, it's either yeah, woman in a red dress in bondage or man in yellow pants in that's all i was man in yellow pants. yeah <laughs> I, you're right I, about I those classics nobody's illustrated. gonna have so we went with that you're right about those classics <laughs> illustrated so there's some great stuff in there there's actually a uh a Matt Baker in there, the Lorna Dune, oh. which is number 32, Cookies? if I'm not mistaken, is a Matt Baker cover. It's great. It's a red dress cover also, actually. Um, See yeah, what you learn watching this show? Cheap. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't generally hunt them, but every once in a while I find a cover, and I'm like, that's just amazing, and for the price point, I'm going to buy it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like golden age dollar been digging in my mind when you get into those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He just I, doesn't I want to he doesn't want to admit that he actually just has a tentacle bondage section of his collection. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mark, adjacent to the show. Mark my fucking words. He does another book with tentacle bondage this show. <laughs> hmm. Ben, he's like, you now just showed the same thing. Now he's cutting <laughs> Very true. I don't. I don't Huge think it's tentacles. Huge difference, people. <laughs> Huge difference. It's a female versus a male. <laughs> yeah, no yellow pants. That's the difference. Uh, Monster right. versus an octopus. The dude's getting a little friendly with. <laughs> hey, we all we all have passions, guys. Let's yeah. leave it be. All right, I'm. I go back to Peter after that. Jeez. Oh, okay. Round two. I can't show off his underwater covers without getting harassed. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> behind me that I hope I don't knock down. These are ones I thought about but did not go with. A bunch of Aquamans. And I really thought about this X-Men cover. Like, this one was almost in here. But I decided instead to go with this little oddball thing I found in a dollar bin. Uh, and we can argue whether it's actually a comic book or not. But <laughs> it's uh, all about it's collecting comic book. books with Namor <laughs> under there. What a wow. great cover. It's just, yeah, it's it a fun little thing. It's like a newsprint. It's not even like a real whole book. <laughs> it's got articles Spider Man swimming about, under there? Story. What's that? Is Spider Man swimming underwater? Yeah, yeah. He's got a little scuba on there and everything. She Hulk's down there. You know, you got Wolverine, the sharks. Look, sharks. I do like sharks. sharks. I got a pirate ship. Got a whole Goonies thing going on. They're 
digging for comic books as treasure. Like I had to go with this thing. It looks like a OSPG cover. An yeah, overstreet price guide. It's it's like, odd, it, and it's only a few pages. It's like a again, it, it's just a few pages. It's like articles. It's almost like a Marvel Age kind of inside. I have never seen that. Neither have I. I. Just flipped past it in a dollar bin at my uh, LCS. I was like, yeah, I'll pay a buck for that. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen it underwater. I saw it. I'm like, all right, underwater. That wacky. No one else is going to pick this. No, nobody else is picking that one. <laughs> no. Nope. All right, Mike, we're going back. All right, I'm afraid. I'm afraid Chris might pick this, but I picked it anyway because it's one of my favorite covers, especially for for underwater. And I had to go. Oh, oh, with yeah, that. good one. Oh, great cover. Showcased. beautiful. Such a great cover. Just simple. The colors are great. Uh, just, I mean, doesn't get much better than that. Uh, Showcase seventy nine. Anyone yeah. that doesn't know it. green tone um, again? Yeah, her first appearance yeah. too, right? Yeah, it's her first appearance as well. Yeah, so I wanted this book for a really long time. I found it for a, a bargain at one of the last shows right before the quarantine. Um, finally, so I mean, it's not perfect. It's got a little bit of a sub crease in it, but otherwise, it's in good shape. I, I love this cover. Yeah, that, really got, that, that got hot when that Middleton one came out. That uh, yes, that one, yep. this one here, when he did that, and everybody liked the Middleton yep. one. That, that, one that, yeah, that book was on my short list, but I thought somebody was going to grab it. That yeah, well, smart. Took off <laughs> years ago, right? Like that was a twenty dollar yeah. mid grader two years ago, and I only know I went to put mine online, and I was like, holy. Yeah, it's, it, it, there was rumors of Aquaman movie and all that crap, and mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't, I don't know what it actually. But now anywhere, that it's but. gotten the spotlight, I think people are like, "Oh, right," but that's beautiful. Like, yeah, I think, I, I think, think the going back down. I think the art took it beyond a spec. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I got this copy for thirty five, and that was only like two months ago, so oh, it's back down. Deal. Yeah, but that's cheap. That's not eBay. Yeah, price. no, that's that a good deal. Two months ago, eBay price. No, right. no, no, not at all. All right, Mr. C, what do you got? Um, Better not have yellow pants. I'm pretty sure this is the same. Uh, Better not have tentacles either. <laughs> it has yellow pants. Oh, boy. Tentacles. <laughs> and I chose the same book, it's over. No, it has to be the same book. I intentionally chose it because I thought to myself, John is going to pick this, <laughs> and I'm going to pick it too. And it wasn't to mess his pick; it's because, and I thought this to myself: this book deserves that level of respect to be shown twice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? Like, I, you know what? I didn't go with that one. Really? No. It's a great cover. This it's is one of brown pants. When you, I know, I wanted to, I wanted to just kind of, uh, you know, embellish it, Peter. Who's, who's the artist on that? Tie it all together. Who, who's what? This artist is, on that? I hope that was a, a just a, a general no. informative question. No, not For everyone. For me, yeah. That's something uh, not everyone knows. The, yeah. That, the, is, that is one of the famous funniest Frazettas, of course. Okay. Exactly. It's you part of the Frazetta run. Peter doesn't know. It's part of the so. Frazetta run. It was 213 Z. Well, you two eleven? No, you got it in front of you. I don't know the number. No, 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 no. I mean the whole run. It's like 213 to 219, 216. No, it goes 210 to 216, I think. Maybe even 209. There's like, yeah. I have I think there's part six. of it. I have this book because of you. Yeah, we bought them together. <laughs> Like, yeah, so there was a you lot. You bought two at an auction that I made yes. you bid on because I was like, this is nuts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I don't we want to like, We paid like $80 shipping for two books or something. I think you yep. got a third book. <laughs> What'd you say? I think you got a third book, but between the three books, we paid some outrageous shipping number and yep. craziness. It was ridiculous, but it also came... I feel like it finished your FF run, too. It did, it did, and there was this something... the only there was, FF book I wanted. I think there was a subscription card or something wacky in mine too. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Something yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you got the slightly nicer one, but I went with the one with the weirdness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you went the one with the, <laughs> the what the fuck factor. Yeah, I, I don't. I think it's a subscription card. I, I haven't looked at it in a really long time. It was something really, really odd. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Then I'm going to follow that up, Chris. Sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump right. you because I, you went right. I went left. <laughs> the other underwater cover of the run. <laughs> well, I'm glad they got, they both got represented. Yeah, so I, I don't know why I didn't go with the octopus, but I thought two octopus bondage covers was too much. Well, I did not. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping not. Not there. <laughs> you just you not. just look you just looked over there to your right. Did you have it sitting there anyway? It's just sitting right there. It's sitting there. Next to the Joker and I'm, I'm just staring at it. The backup. Um, <laughs> I, I tell you, the octopus one is my favorite of the run. This is probably number two. And then, you know, after that, it kind of becomes a crapshoot. But, yeah, the octopus, to me, is just amazing. Just how, uh, the musculature and how they drew him and, and all the just craziness of it. This one, I just – I like the color palette and and I don't know. They're, they're all amazing. Let's just go with that. They're all freaking amazing. And if you haven't seen them all, do yourself a favor and, and – research them i also like how you golden age guys refer to ff as famous funnies where you say ff i'm thinking of fantastic four right yeah, exactly. I, was too. I was like oh sweet for what it's worth i also do it with frazetta like ah, so it gets super messed go. up and just like oh the fffff yeah if I, i'll call it a four f for ben fffff <laughs> the f cubed yes F -F -F, and he'll know exactly what i'm talking about absolutely <laughs> all right chris sorry all right. I just felt I couldn't let that pass. <laughs> so for me, I'm going with I'm a Silver Age guy like Peter, but I don't have an FF that has water in it. But I do have a submariner. You see some behind me, but I love this cover. Mm -hmm. uh, John and I were talking about this a little bit earlier. But... <laughs> I had it on my short list, literally. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at it and goes, huh? No, like, no, I was you like, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, <laughs> that was a solid poker face you had. <laughs> oh, I, I, I work on it sometimes. <laughs> Because I literally go, I really like this one. I'm thinking about it, but just that dark water is amazing. Because it's just it's black water. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. It's a Bashima cover. Uh, it's just great. I mean, this entire run, the first 15 or so issues are just awesome covers. Uh, you can see I got number one behind me and uh, number 38 as well back there. But this is the one I would like. The second we talked about underwater, I was like, this is what the one I'm grabbing. Well, I uh, dug through that run, and most of them probably are underwater, but don't look underwater yeah. like that one does. Yeah, most of them have, even though they have red and orange backgrounds, but they yeah. still take place underwater. Yeah, but that one that one screams water. You're right. Yeah. It, it was I mean, like, you get, holy crap. You got the bubbles with the punch. I mean, it's pretty sweet. And you got an Inhuman on there. Yeah, Triton. As much as we all love that, you know, <laughs> show. Yeah. Yeah. That's a beautiful yeah. book. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a nice copy too. Deep. I, you, you know what? I was list. I was listing these books because, and then I decided not to sell it because you can get a, a very fine copy for fifteen, twenty bucks. Yeah. Which is a damn mm -hmm. shame. Well, his entire the rest the number one's like a hundred, two hundred dollar book, and the rest of them are fifteen, twenty dollars, depending on grade, of course. Isn't there like yeah. there's maybe like was it three or five is a bump or what? what uh, there's the, the one where he's fighting thing. Yeah. No, and the tiger shark. That's yeah, a tiger, tiger shark. Fire. Tiger shark. Tiger and thing. shark's five. There's also um, Namorita or whatever Namorita and like that's 50 like range. fifty. Yeah, you want to pay attention to twenty three. Orca, I think uh, twenty three. Uh, There's a few subby issues that are like that post Bronze Age. I mean, the post silver, that early bronze, like. I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole, but yeah, there's there's some stuff in there that a year from now it's going to be big money. All right. So now I'm going to have to go get online and buy some of those now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peter, finish All us right, out good. on your picks. All right. That, that's a good lead in for uh, what I got here with my last pick. This was you in. Can destroy uh, him again. Yeah. No, I went with this variant because Ooh. I have. I love a throne. Like sitting on the throne, I got the Aquaman sitting back here chilling on his throne, the Venom 3 third print. I don't know. Something about the sitting on the throne is just. It's a good look. You, you Flanders sitting? So yeah, well, there's that too. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do. But yeah, this, yeah, this cover I I liked. I've always liked it, and it's just it's a cool name or cover. If they, he ever comes out, you know, into the end, that that's what they I'll should do on the movie. Poster. I think this will be a book that the people get looked at. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that either. If you want to make it not lame, let's make that the poster. Thirteen. It was the one in twenty-five, I think, for uh, for that series. That's a, that's a and nice how many people bought twenty five <laughs> copies? I, I I didn't even yeah, want to. My buddy talked me into it. 
you, he, you, he tried to tell me on Darren's I was like that one. He's like, yeah, look at it. Look, all right, I guess I'll order one too. I I but, can't uh, imagine how many stores ordered twenty five. And again, that's if Subby hits, like yeah. It's only the online retailers. I mean, there's no brick and mortar that would have done that. No, no, no. We saw uh, what happened. That I know. Carnage stuff. All those Carnage variants are up now. Oh, yeah. Yes, I am hedging my bets, gentlemen. <laughs> I, I do like that Mike's got the uh, the uh, mug back out. Yes. <laughs> I love the thing. I love this thing. I, I can't yeah. believe that they, make, they actually make this. I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> um. All right. All right. Uh, this Finish is the one off. I worried that maybe this is the one I worried maybe Ben might choose, but this is this is low hanging fruit for Mr. Ben C. But either way, this is one of my favorite uh, pre code books. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, I just love 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 <laughs> this cover. Um, I didn't pull it out during Vintage Voyage because I didn't want anyone to know I had one. Although I know Ben knows I have one, but <laughs> that that uh, one is that's on my list of ones I need, and I haven't so found one yet. What number is it? So good. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Nineteen. Yeah, that's a nineteen. One. It, that it's one. it it is. And this this one just fell on my lap. There was a show that I did. It was a toy show of all things. And at the toy show, a guy brought in a, a box of pre code to a dealer, and uh, he bought it sight unseen. And he goes, "Take a look. Grab grab one or two that you think you want, and uh, we'll make a deal." So and that was that was one of the two that I grabbed. So very nice. Love it. Ben, you want to go last? or You want to go now? Um, I don't know. Go ahead. <laughs> you want to go or you want to wait? No, go ahead. Go ahead, because I think what I have will tie everything together. All right, so then I'll wait. I'm gonna go to. Oh. Uh, I'll go next, and then we'll go to Pete or to Chris, and then back to you. Because I know nobody picked this one because I am a Looney Tunes on some of this stuff. This is, of all things, a uh, a Charlton romance. <laughs> Nice. Oh, oh nice. Uh, wow. oh. Teen Confessions 45. I, I I've seen found that the book. raw copy one time and thought it was gorgeous. And at some point, a 9 0 popped up for a minimal amount of money. I'm like, well, I'm going to buy that, of course. You were way I'm too just... excited to get that book. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> I, I, about it. I probably shared it with you all. And it was one of those like, it's oh, with like, Tom cover. Uh, you, you've been doing the praises of the green water all night. I was oh, like, yeah. what? Stolen that? kisses. <laughs> Stolen kisses. Yeah, I mean, I, this is one I probably messaged Ben and Sean about, and they're like, what the fuck is he on? <laughs> <laughs> and where do we get some? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't know. I just, it's not the best art. It just, the colors. I, I have a color palette apparently, and this is it. So <laughs> green, red, yeah, water. I uh, will say the, the, the vid, the sixties feel of that, the campiness, is that what you call it? Yeah. Yes. The campiness yeah. of that book is 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 wonderful. I I'm I'm getting into the 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 sixties romance. I know there's not money in a lot of it. I mean, some of it, but some of those covers are just gorgeous. There's some Cardies out there that are amazing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You know, getting a lot of these vibrant colors, and you're like, what? How? Why did they do this on a romance book? So. Yeah. Like, again, there's a bunch of bakers that are romance yeah. books with the yeah. love and romance. They're really beautiful. Kirby and Baker, like alternating, or yeah, there for a little bit. And there's yeah. that. Uh, yeah. I actually ordered one to, the other day. The uh, Love and Romance '97 has a black circle variant that's like super hard to find, huh? Because uh, it's like they evidently started printing them, and they said, you know what, twelve cents is not what we want anymore. Uh, or it was a ten cent book, and like we're gonna raise it to twelve cents. So they went back and reprinted on all the first issues and put a black circle over the top of it and then put 12 cents. Uh, okay. So there's three different books that have it and Love and Romance is one of them. Huh. Uh, so you, that's you have, nine, you have out You've out uh, crazied me on that one. <laughs> I, I went down a hole and I, I bought that, the Journey in the Mystery. There's three of them and I bought two of them this past week. Uh, nice. But uh, so you, since you like green and red, I decided to pull up a green and red book for you there. Ooh, uh, yeah. So, I almost chose that. <laughs> Since I went down my uh, rabbit hole with Epic and uh, PC Comics, not too or not Epic, Eclipse <laughs> comics, not too long ago, uh, I didn't I did not realize this is three three D until I did my article. I was like, oh wait, that's on three dimensional. So it sort of sucks on the inside because 
I don't have 3D glasses. You don't have the glasses? <laughs> so you can't read any of them, but this entire – this has this uh, 1 and 2 and 3D. And uh, I know that, uh, Mike, you've mentioned the Dave Stevens cover for number one. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. But this is a Bernie Wrightson. I mean, I was sold on it. I think I got it at a dollar sale. I mean, they're not expensive by any stretch. But then what's cool about them, all this book, Seduction of the Innocent, and then have a one through six run, I guess it, I think it's like all the issues that get mentioned in the book, Seduction of the Innocent, they reprinted them all in this like six uh, six issue run to where you can yeah, like, I I read, of those. you can read through and see, whoa, what, why do you mention this this one? Why do you mention that one? I know Matt Baker did a couple of the the comics within the, that got mentioned or whatever. And then some of the other names you pull up, you're like, oh, I do know that one. <laughs> so it's, it's sort of cool, but the, the, the two 3D covers are two of the best ones. The Dave Stevens covers is like a, a girl popping out like with a Halloween outfit on. And then this one's just a ridiculous. And it's um, the old school blue and red. Like you can see the blue and red kind of outline art yes. of 3D. Yeah. Let's see. I can open and take it out for you. Uh, yeah. I don't know how well it'll show up on. But yeah. So you get the. Oh, yeah. It's really hard to read. Yeah. Um, you, you go cross-eyed trying to read it if you don't have your 3D glasses, which maybe I can break. I think I have a one of those random because uh, Marvel's been doing them I was here lately. Say Marvel started doing those, like 300. Yeah. They just did uh, the X-Men, uh, the cap cap cover one. The 268. The 268. Love yeah. that cover. So, yeah, yeah, I think I might have that one around here somewhere. But, yeah. So that is my uh, underwater. I mean, he covers green water for you, John. So you're you're you're, you're good. I there. appreciate you. You're sticking with the theme. Yeah. All right, Ben, take us home. What do you got? Is it a giant octopus? Yellow All pants. Right. So, or just one tentacle. Let me find this first. So, yeah. anyone who's tuned in to Golden Age Voyage or Vintage Voyage has seen. Um, I keep talking about the damn catalogs. The Sotheby's, the Christie's, the early 90s catalogs, and how all the ridiculous original art sold, and stupid lots of books that make me sick, and this, that, and the other. And since we're on the topic, <laughs> nice. Well, there's your oh. one. Is it, okay. is that, oh, that's a famous oh, yeah. So, fucking famous. bend your mind, uh, first of all. That's Do you the have the prices one. realized for that? Yeah. So, this is the. Uh, so that's the original art, right? Yeah. That's the fucking back. Hmm. <laughs> like, right, get the fuck out of town and then get back in. <laughs> Wait, that was the back of the original art? Right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Two for one. Oh. So which side what would you hang up for? in your house? Uh, they they, they, they uh, theorized that it was going to bring 80 to 90 grand, and this is in 1991. I was going to say, what year was that, 91? Yeah. Um, I mean, to be fair, it's like when lots like this, they're like, oh, VF, probably like two grand yeah. for the entire <laughs> lot. And you're like, okay. So, and to be fair, that's what, that also reminds us, those used to be the dregs, man. X-Men yeah. 1 and Tails were fucking trash. Um, anyway, it went for a little over 200. Um, I cannot fathom what it would bring on today's market. But I want people to realize that when they, you know, oh, the Spider 300 or the, it wasn't the 300 even, it was the three, whatever, the Hulk cover uh, that broke a million dollars. 328. 328. Yeah. Like, I mean, good on that. That's great. Like, but talking about art breaking, you know, records and stuff, it's because this shit's not out there, man. Yeah. Like, we just got to be crazy. I always I see Metropolis show off uh, one of the other ones in the run, the spacesuit kind of guy. Right. And, like, what's the price tag? It, like, it's not for sale. Exactly. Like, that's that's was, his PC. Exactly. Well, I can't not for sale until the owner dies and their kid, you know, wants a Corvette. And then, yeah, like, to, like, the company, because I, I figure that's, like... Well, the last the last kind of big pieces I remember seeing was that uh, that auction with all the original Planet comics art. Yeah, and Planet Comics is fantastic, and I almost Ugh. didn't choose one for tonight because it's water. Um, but or or well, the Ritz, the Wrights in uh, Frankenstein original art was a beast too. <laughs> that, bro yeah. that broke a million. Yeah. yeah, but that's that's I agree. That's pure and insanity no of art, though. Respect to Wrights in, but. And this isn't comic because people, you know, oh, well, Frazetta oil paintings. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I agree. 
tens of millions of dollars, I assume, well, at this yeah. point, if they come. I, and, some of them have sold it in in the, the, the two to three, but yes, the better ones don't even come to market. Ones. Like, I feel well, like if Death Dealer or Ma, uh, not Mothman, oh yeah, no, it's called Mothman, right? I think that the Egypt Queen went fairly recently, if I'm not mistaken, and it, and it wasn't as crazy as you thought it would be. Yeah, but Egypt Queen's not 54. Death Dealer or... No, Mothman. no, Death Dealer or, or a couple of them would go... Or like, yeah, all right, anyway, I'm going down the rabbit hole, sorry. <laughs> We'll, we'll do this on Vintage. Oh, more green yeah, water. That's great. Man, I just fought up. Mike, Mike thought I was going to go with Crime Suspense. Yeah. Or no, Shock. Similar that's a way. Shock cover, right? Or no, it's Crime. Uh, no, it's Crime. Yeah. It's crime. No, this is the... Never... I don't know. I thought I like... Are there lots of Worlds of Fear? Or is there just like... So that okay. One? So this run, no, this is number nine. Okay. This title is the one that has that. And I have been kicking myself since 2012 when I or 14, whenever it was. The copy that's the dude in his eyeballs look like they've been like hollowed out by like life, and then the entire cover is just voided eyeballs. He knows what I'm talking about. It's that oh, insane number ten cover. That's just I, eyeballs and eyeballs, and then a dude yeah. being like, where oh. are my eyeballs? I mean, eye sockets. That's this wrong. And they're yeah. impossible. This book has... Nobody knows who did uh, the cover. There's 20... Yeah, Peter, right? Yeah, I had to look I've it up what you're talking about. I know what you're talking once about. Once in my life, I've seen that book, and I said to Z, I should probably bid on this, but am I really going to care later? <laughs> oh, man, I care every later. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> like, Ugh. but this you're, I mean, you're actually giving me like my my stomach is sinking because I'm trying. I want to go. I want to go find all these books now. <laughs> That's yeah, the beauty. It's like the anticipation this, to go look to go look them all up. This came in a lot, really affordable for the time, with Weird Mysteries Five. Which is the monkey brain cover. Is that the monkey brain or the ant yeah. one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it had the LB Cole Tales of Terror, the fucking poison rainbow, like snake lady cover. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. It's like the tie-dye swirled tales of... It's a classic LB Cole cover, man. It had that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then it had the LB. No, not Startling. No. It, and then it had LB uh, Startling Terror 5. Yeah, yeah. The LB Cole cover with, like, the demon-looking fucking god with the multiple arms and shit on fire on the cover. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Isn't that the blue That's book, how I right? get Golden Age books. That I, 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 you know, I get offered up a lot, and I was like, oh, yeah, what's in it? And it was like, Huh. I'll take it. Like, anyway, that's that's my closer. Twenty copies on the CG sen C census. Books of Ghost. Um, so there's twenty one copies then. There's probably like fucking. I mean, I'm sure the number of raws is high, but when you look at the like sales history, Heritage sold a VG copy in 2016. I don't know. Like books like that, you wonder like where could they be? Like you say there's a lot of raws. I mean, outside of you know collectors having their collections, like shops aren't holding on to those. Those aren't just lingering in a short box somewhere in the back. No, I guess there's a dozen or two out there though. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That might be high. A dozen might be high, but it also might be a book that people just aren't grading. Yeah. No. True. When you only have twenty on the census. Yeah. When you're only at 20 on the census and the book doesn't come to market, you either get the book to market or you grade it and put it in the market. Well, that's the tough thing. When it's not in the market, they can't search like a price. Like we're talking, yeah. they search an eBay, like, oh, did this book sell? Is it worth anything? It's only a three month window you got. So if one hasn't sold in the last three months, you're not seeing a history in a lot of these books. So they either have to go to GPA, and then if there's not that many graded, they're not seeing it there either. Who knows? Our friends yeah. over at Cover Price have been really good about. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With the I gotta, I gotta give it. I gotta give it up to them. I know the market's tough right now, but 
they're doing some good shit. So 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 is um our friends at uh, Go Collect. Yeah. Anyone tracking yeah. their slabs? Yeah. GPA Absolutely. can kiss my ass. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, fellas. Pictures. What what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do next week? Do we just who, who's, who's the winner? winner? Who's the winner? Peter. Who's Peter? Peter. That, I love that that, that, little that mini random book, comic book thing. <laughs> Peter wins for the craziest book. Fine. <laughs> Real quick. Even though I had octopus, you guys had octopus hand bondage. Age. Yeah, yeah, but our, our, our multiple bondage octopus covers canceled each other out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And, and, our, and, and Ben's out, my so. two uh, strangling drowning covers canceled yeah. each so other. So I'll take it with tacos and, uh, <laughs> and, and how to call a comic book uh, Marvel Age articles. All right. Nice. Variant slab. Right. So Gentlemen, I will see you next week. Let's do space. Space. All right. Space. Uh, all right. Eight. Thank you all for joining us. Out Check out space. comicbookinvest.com for all your uh, comic information, research, speculation, investing needs, and new content daily. New free content daily. And uh, thanks, guys. See you again next week. All right. Yep. Yeah.